Hoot and Anvil, Kilman Miners, welcome back. Happy Saturday to all of y'all. Oh, fuck, I forgot to turn my light on. Whoops, my bad. There we are. Now you can fucking see me. But, uh, yeah, happy Saturday, y'all. Had the day off on my own here. Wife is off watching, uh, some monster trucks, so instead of being productive, I decided, fuck it, let's play some magic with you, degenerates, and have some fun. Um, back on my stormy bullshit. Most recent iteration of this deck. We'll take it through the league, see how we do, see if, uh, our absolutely horrible top decks and variance problems are going to go away and see if we can uh, get a positive record with it today. See everyone's week was and all that good shit too. Hopefully y'all are having fun on this Saturday. Let's go through a league and see who we can hit up. It does look like there's quite a few people streaming today, so maybe we pop up on some other people's streams. We'll see. See if we can get a rematch against uh, Phil with Thraven U. Redeem ourselves. Racanudo. Well, Racanudo. Fuck, I can't even talk today. What do I get for having a fucking haircut this morning and drinking at it? Uh, we lost the die roll, which is a little unfortunate, but oh well. Oh, fuck. Uh, what do I got here? This is not keepable, so we're gonna have to ship this. We're starting off with the bad luck, but oh well. Shit happens. We all had a good week. Had a fucking busy week on my end, that's for sure. Um, I don't hate this. This is a turn one wish claw talisman. Actually, no, it's not. Um, turn two Wish Claw Talisman. Or it's a turn two Urza's Construct token, which I actually don't hate that, so I think we might do that. This might be a s Construct game. We're going to put the Tendrils to the bottom. Hopefully we're not against, like, Oops or something stupid. All right, please don't Wasteland me, bro. I don't know what you got going on over there, but please don't Wasteland me. However, I probably just manifested it into our opponent's hand if they didn't already have it. Watch, we're gonna fucking pay the price for that. They're gonna like pending this Mox Opal or something. <laughs> Uh, Doomsday? Possibly. End of turn like that makes me think it's Doomsday. Which hopefully a thought sees next turn can do some damage. By the way, thank you, uh, Clan117. I missed your uh, follow there at the end of last stream, so thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. What's up, Nahiri, baby? Come on. Come say hi. Come say hello. Come on. Trying to hand me her banana toy to get her to fucking play. <laughs> What's up, baby? Come on. Come say hi. No, no, come over the armrest, not under it. <laughs> come say hi. No, she just wants to play tug of war with the banana. <laughs> Tony is really thinking over what they want to put back with this brainstorm. Oh no, it's really interesting to see Brainstorm making a huge comeback like it or uh, Doomsday making a huge comeback like we've been seeing over the past few weeks. It was like considered fucking unplayable for the longest time. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just like Sultai something. Oh, it's Storm. Okay, we got traditional Storm going on over there. Okay. Well, that completely changes what we're doing here. Also severely puts us on a clock. See if we can take something important out of their hand. So regardless of, well, no. Yeah, regardless of what we take, they're going off next turn is the problem.
Because whatever we can take, they can just tutor it out again. And then they've got all the mana in the world to be able to do it. I think the correct option here is we take Lion's Eye Diamond. Because it pinches them on mana more, but I mean, they're going to go up to four. I mean, they're going to be able to get five Infernal Tutor. They can go get another one, but it puts them down a mana. I think we take Lion's Eye Diamond. I don't think it's correct. Like, I don't think there's anything that gets us out of this. But I guess we'll see. Because if we survive here, we go off next turn. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> fucking Thoughtseize bug bullshit. <laughs> fucking really? Uh, all right. Well, I guess we're gonna. If they're the Piff version, we'll at least know how to sideboard. If it's just A N T, then we'll sideboard differently as well. Um, I guess we'll see. I'm assuming this is A N T, just kind of based off of what I've seen. But I guess we'll see what they do here. Maybe they're bad at math. <laughs> Like, we're kind of hoping they're either bad at math or they just, like, misclick somewhere and forget to hit control. <laughs> oh. Or maybe it is the Pass and Flames version. Interesting they went for Cabal I mean, I guess it's like half a one, or six and one, half a dozen another. They can go get what they need off of this fucking Wishclaw Talisman. So this is definitely a and T. I I guess we're in a position where we just hope that they ad nos poorly. And that we can go off next turn. Because this is definitively, if we don't die here, we go off. We gotta hope that they just ad nauseum incredibly poorly. Which we've, we've seen before. We've seen ad nauseums go badly. That's still not enough mana. But they need a Lion's Eye Diamond or some other zero drops or some more rituals. Because a Cabal Rit ain't enough. Cabal Ritual puts them one mana short. Alright, there's their mana. They got it. If they actually stop, I'll just concede. Maybe they don't realize they have the mana. I don't know. Alright, they figured it out. Cool. Yep, they had it. I was just waiting to see if they actually realized they had it or not. Um, I guess what our opponent's doing... Like, that's the weird part is like against what our opponent's doing i don't even know if it's worth boarding anything to be completely honest like maybe bring in the haywire mice because they'll probably bring in some hate for us i'm assuming they're gonna bring in graveyard hate which is honestly fucking irrelevant to us if we're being completely honest like we've got two cards that give a shit about our graveyard and we're just gonna board them out anyways so that sucks we were one turn off they almost didn't get there. They did find that one mana, though. I don't know if normal a and plays much for counter magic. I feel like they probably have Force of Wills, but... 
Probably should have checked what they have in their sideboard before we fucking did anything. Oh, they normally don't play much counter magic. So, if we can get a turn one, we should just be able to pop off. Unfortunately, they're thinking the same fucking thing. I mean, this is a bunch of mana, but it's... A bunch of mana, a bunch of redraws, but it's kind of slow otherwise, but... Maybe it's worth it? It's hard for them to go off on turn one. And we're gonna keep this. I got two redraws. Probably worth it. What do we want to take here? Probably just take the tutor, let them have everything else. There's no point in trying to take anything. Because we take one ritual, they can go do the other one anyways, and they don't have much else going on. Hopefully out of these three draws, we get something good. Okay, Duress sucks. There goes our tutor. Let's see what we're drawing. I'm just, okay, at least one of our cards is a land, so that kind of sucks. I'm assuming they're going to Thought Seize us, or Duress us here. I'd be kind of surprised if they didn't, but you never know. So oh, our Wishclaw Talisman is going to go away. Yep. Okay. The nice part is, is we get three redraws. Well, two redraws. We know one's a land. That's why I have all the mana in the world to go off once we fucking hit it. Another duress. Two duresses. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, let's take... So apparently it was not a good keep. We were hit, yeah, hinging way too heavily on this Wishclaw Talisman, I guess. And we're going to take the Brainstorm, unless they Brainstorm right now. Like, take their card filtering? I mean, we don't give a shit about Hercules Recall anymore. We're not going to try to fight them on mana. Like, maybe next turn, if they don't do anything, we'll go ahead and duress the Dark Rit, but... They didn't do anything, so maybe we will take the Dark Rit. See what they got. Infernal Tutor. Okay, well, I guess we're going to take the Tutor then. Come back to what they're at. Play land. That's the turn. Like, I got the mana to do whatever the fuck I want, basically. They are through three duresses, though, which is annoying. They haven't drawn shit other than mana. <clears throat> okay, gonna continue on the mana train. Not like where we are that we are at at all. Luckily, our opponent's not doing much of anything either. Okay, does this do anything for us? We 
gonna wait just in case they try to Hercules us in response to the demonic tutor. Which they could do, which is gonna fuck up our tutor. Unless we get a lion's eye diamond. If we get a lion's eye diamond, I'm okay with that. Okay, or we just thought seize him. That still puts us one mana short. Oh, this is like the weirdest way to do this shit. I got a piff. So I take Hercules. But they can't. Fuck! They're gonna be able to pass in flames next turn, is the problem. Is there anything else I can grab? I mean, even if they fucking Cabal Ritual. I'm trying to think if there's any way we can get the fuck out of this now. I've still only got five. Nah, fuck, we're dead. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> alright, alright. Apparently the magic gods still don't want us to fucking play Storm. <sighs> womp the womp. Yeah, because they were just about to go off next turn, regardless of what we took. Get dunked. Last scene playing is it Delver. Hopefully we can dunk on get dunked. I actually like this hand. So we can keep this. Go keep. And then we try to get for our next turn is basically what happens. Alright, it is Delver. Luckily they can't waste land us here. It didn't seem like they had a force of will, so. So get dunked is indeed on Delver. Chose not to shuffle, which is a little concerning, but the more fast mana. Okay, Dark Ritual is nice. Okay, so I don't hate this at all. Are they going to counter the ritual? No, they're not going to counter the ritual. How many counter spells do you have, opponent? Double Days, Force of Will. We have enough mana to pay for all the dazes, so I don't think we give a fuck here. They can only cast one anyway, so take the Force of Will. We are at seven mana. If we just cast and go for it. All right, so we can pay for the days. We should be, like, this should be a win unless we get some extremely unfortunate Asnaz flips. So there should be plenty, because I've got two, three, four, five. 
Yeah, we got plenty of mana here. All right, yeah. We have tons of mana. We're good. Okay. Like, even without this, I still had it. <laughs> All right. So against Delver, we're bringing in Z-Tech. Other than that, Shadow Spear is kind of relevant. We're not going to be able to outclass their Merc Tide and their threats fly anyways. From one burning wise, try the two defense grades and hope for the best. You could bring in the Graveyard Hate to shut down Dragon Rage Channeler and Merc Tide Regent, but I mean, if we go to a game three, maybe we'll try it. Um, fuck, if I had black mana, this would be great, but I don't. <laughs> Again, if I had a permanent black source, this would be amazing. We do have a, we have our draw for turn and we have a redraw, so maybe this is worth it. Let's put the redundant thought seeds to the bottom and call it good. See what we can get here. Because we're going to have two draws. All right, they got a Darcy out quick. That is redundant black mana. God, please don't have a fucking whatchamacallit. Because they're letting all of this shit resolve. Alright, that doesn't eat a counter. I guess we're going to pass the turn, and we're going to hope that we can get there next turn, and hope it's not just like... We can't do anything about a Wasteland. If they do, in fact, have Meltdown, we can grab it now, but a Meltdown doesn't completely fuck us over here. And we have a Redraw. Is it worth trying to take it, or should we... Hold on to this one. Fuck. Yeah, we're gonna pass. It's just a rough spot to be in. We got a brainstorm, which isn't terrible for us, I guess. All right, they have wasteland. That's good. Why are they just straight attacking? What does our opponent have? That was a very strange turn from our opponent. Ooh, I like defense grade. That's very good. Oh, shit. If this resolves, we go off. There's a brainstorm. They're looking for a counter. If this resolves, we win. I think we're going to pay for it.
They clearly care about this resolving. So I think this is worth fighting over. All right, this just delays us by a turn. Jesus. Okay. So we are going to add nauseam from a very low life total, but we're going to see if we can get there off a of nine. Like, this does suck a little bit that we're going off from nine, but it is what it is. Okay. Draw a bubble. Well, that sucks. That actually did kind of fuck us up. I still think we needed to fight that battle regardless. I don't think we were winning any other way anyways. I got a useless wasteland. The question is going to be is... Can we get enough mana to go off from six? We get two draws, so okay. Ooh, actually. Uh, the fact that we don't have... Okay, so we got, what, 10 mana? This is enough, right? This is going to be a real weird way to do this, but we should have it. Because this is 9, 10. Go down to 9. Go get a Burning Wish. Use Burning Wish to go get Peer into the Abyss. So grab a red, black, black. Doesn't really matter. Black. Use a black mana. Go grab our one of Burning Wish. And this is just enough mana to be able to go grab a Peer to the Abyss. Draw half of our deck. Peer into the Abyss. Go to three. They can't bolt us or anything. And then hope that we have enough to get there from this. We should have enough. We have a bajillion fucking dark rituals. Okay, yeah, we, we have way more than enough. We could add nauseum too if we wanted. <laughs> um the ball rit. Cast this. J just for the rubbins, we're gonna put ad nauseum under it. Just for the rubbins. Go find the tendies. Get fucked, Elver. Get fucked. <laughs> Alright. I don't care what the rest of the league does, we just shit on Delver 2-0. What's up, Snapdax? Was that you who I was playing against? Okay. <laughs> you feel like, oh shit, if, if I was just like saying fuck you to one of my viewers, I was gonna feel a little bad there, but at the same time, it's fucking Delver. <laughs> 
I, I, we were kind of in a sketchy situation there in that fight over the uh, defense grid, but I thought it was the right one. <laughs> yes, fuck Delver. <laughs> um, I thought we kind of maybe misplayed there, but I still think it was right to fight over it. They just happened to have what they needed to pressure us, and we we did top deck lucky. Like that third lion's eye diamond got us there. Um. But, yeah, I don't know. I actually really do like this deck against Delver in general. It's probably the only deck I consistently play that I feel has a good... a good to even Delver matchup. Alright, we're on the play. Wooded Raptus. Um... I'll keep this, actually. We got last scene playing Grixis Tempo. So, I don't know. I've tried playing Tony's actual version with, like, the Cabal Therapies and stuff. It feels, in my experience, in my opinion, it feels really bad only having one Burning Wish. I've been stuck in multiple situations where I needed a second one. Um, I am also absolutely awful at blind naming shit with Cabal Therapy. So maybe that's partially just me being bad with that card. Um... But I don't know, there there's definitely feels like the sideboard could use some tuning. I've kind of been messing around, like, I have six or seven iterations of this, and most of the changes deal with the sideboard more than anything. So, I think the main deck is pretty tight. Like, I see the argument for not having multiple Burning Wishes. Um, oh, Jesus. Shouldered? Okay, that, that'll be interesting. <laughs> Please don't power out a turn one shoulder and make me lose like half of my life drawing cards. Okay, so the, so they're not popping off right away. Let's see what else you got over there. Okay, so it is the mono black aggro shit. They just have a slower hand. Um, but I don't know. Like I said, I feel like my sideboard could definitely use some tweaking. I do not think my sideboard is as optimized as it theoretically could be. Well, that's interesting. Um, let's drop this. Let's actually thought seize them. Oh, Jesus. Um, fuck a doodle do. So they can't cast anything. Well, no, because we know they're going to draw a Chrome Mox, so they actually can cast this Karn, which is basically just game over. But Trinisphere is a problem, too. Oh, God. I don't like this hand at all. I should have Ritualed, apparently. Um, I guess we take the Karn and hope for the best. Hope that we can find a way to just fight through a Trinisphere. I don't know, maybe they'll be more concerned about dropping a shoulder or something. I, I have no idea what they're going to do here. Because we know they're grabbing a Chrome Mox. It's just a matter of what do they want to bin. They might also just hold up this Opposition Agent. Okay, they're going to play Trinisphere, which is annoying. Womp. Oh, I should have ritualed first, is what I'm seeing here. This is one thing that sucks, is not having main deck ways to deal with, like, a Trinisphere or something. Um, like, I'm trying to figure out if we really, even realistically, have a way to get out of this currently with this Trinisphere on board. Because we know, like, Opposition Agent and, like, all of this shit's coming, so it's pro- Yeah, we don't have a way out of this, just to be completely honest. We wouldn't be able to get the Golem down. We don't have the mana for it, regardless. Like, that's gonna go away, and then we have no guarantee we're hitting other lands, and they're just gonna outclass it too quickly anyways. So, I don't think it's worth it in that situation. Um, we definitely want to bring in... Slaughter Pact and Fatal Push. Bring in Haywire Might. I don't think we're... The Golem Plan could work, but I don't think we need Shadow Spear for it.
We know they have main deck ley lines, so Cabal Rituals probably aren't necessary here. Um, like I know cutting a Burning Wish is the easy choice or whatever, but I actually think we might trim a Wish Claw Talisman because it's our bad tutor versus a Karn deck. And just hope that we can like pop off a turn one combo. This mono black hell deck is fucking atrocious for us though, is the problem. They just have so much main deck hate for what we're trying to do. Um so this is an active Urza saga on turn two, which actually isn't terrible. Depending on what our opponent has. Just try to get a big creature down quick and start beating. So I think we're going to keep it. We are going to run out this fucking Chromox for zero value, though. Like, it feels bad, but... I'm not going to have these stuck in hand if they drop a Trinosphere. <laughs> I knew they were going to bring in their Ley Lines, so there wasn't any point of keeping Cabal Ritz in. Well, that's interesting. The problem is, is they're very much in a situation where they could be holding up um, Dark Rit into, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Opposition Agent. So we're going to go ahead and just play this. We're going to stick with the Golem plan. Because this guarantees two Golems. Constructs, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I was actually just looking today, like shopping online for tokens for this deck, and I just haven't found any like really nice, cool looking storm tokens. I might end up going with a uh, catnip and cantrips. I think her name is like Leah Anderson. I have a bunch of tokens from her for old decks I had. I'm not a huge fan of her. Okay, transfer. That's fine. I'm not a huge fan of like her storm tokens in particular but i love her art style and the rest of her tokens and like her construct tokens look really cool so i'll probably end up just doing that okay so we are definitely not going to storm off here is basically what's happening oh yeah we are definitely not storming off here we're gonna have to hope uh what do we want here is the question Well, actually, I don't hate Haywire Might. That is a way to get through a Trinisphere. <laughs> We're just going to hope that some big Construct tokens can beat face and get us there. The problem is, is they're definitely going to try to mulligan for, like, crazy hate. Like, crazy turn one hate next game. All right, what are they doing here? What do they got? Doldred's annoying. Oh, just a Karn. So, admittedly annoying. That does shut down Lion's Eye Diamond. But the problem is, depending on what they do here... Okay, so they're going to kill that. We can still kill Karn, though, which turns our ship back on. This is annoying that I have to send one of these a Karn. Because one of these is a Karn. Okay, yeah. So Karn's dying. Which turns our ship back on.
Okay, Plague Engineer. What, are they gonna name... Okay. I'm assuming they're gonna name Insects, so Haywire Might's down. Yep. Like, we kinda knew that was gonna happen. We're gonna lose another Construct. Like, there was something to be said about doing that, but then we just literally lose our whole hand. We're gonna lose a Construct, which sucks, but... We're gonna get them down to five, and we're gonna kinda hope that they don't have shit going on here. Gold root? No, it's another fucking card. For fuck's sake, okay. I mean, we just gotta go face. We don't have a fucking choice here. And there's nothing I can do here, so even... Like, I'm trying to think, unless they have... Okay, they can play Helm. Oh, they had the mana for it. Okay, yeah, they got it. Yeah, there was nothing we could do there. Like I said, th this matchup is fucking atrocious for us. They just have so much fucking hate for what we're trying to do. But, oh well. I think we pretty much did what we could there. It was just, like I said, the, the Mono Black Helm deck is so bad for us. It's frustrating, those two Storm games. Each game we were, like, one turn behind being able to win it. But, it happens. So I officially bought my tickets to Magic Con, Minneapolis. So I will be there. Um, however, I will only be there for one day. I feel like the uh, other half would get way too pissed if I spent the entire fucking weekend playing Magic because we're technically up there for concerts. But I'll be there on Friday. So if anyone happens to swing by uh place on Friday, I'd gladly meet up with them, play a game of Commander or something. I'm just excited to actually go to a big Magic event for once. This will actually be, like, the first big Magic event I've ever been to because they stopped holding fucking GP Omaha before I started playing Magic. And then they just, like, stopped GPs entirely for a while, which sucked. <laughs> I'm excited to see what's there. I gotta look at the list of artists and see if I got any cards I want signed. I'm also hoping maybe I can score some good deals on shit out there. I'm still two lines of diamonds away from what I need in paper, so I'm hoping I can maybe snag, like, a sweet deal on an LED wall in there. Hoping vendors have, like, good prices and shit since it's a convention, but I don't know. We'll see. UIC Swim. And a Grudge Hydra? Base of the Hydra. All right. We are winning a good amount of die rolls, which is nice. Um, does this let me do things? Does this let me do things? So, like, no matter what, I'll have two. I have two artifacts on the battlefield at the end of turn one. This is weak to counter magic. But it might just be worth it anyways. Yeah, no, we're gonna we'll keep this. Fuck it. We have multiple tutors here, so hopefully, even if they have counter magic for one of them, we can get through. Alright, so it seems like our opponent yeah, our opponent's F6, which is good for us. So the question is, is can I go for it next turn? I think the answer is yes. Assuming our opponent doesn't just have a turn one. All right, so they just played a land, which is good. 
Another Infernal Tutor is useless. So this dies hard to counter magic. They didn't have any last turn. Do this, go get an LED. But then that still shuts this off. So never mind. We just gotta wait for next turn and see what our opponent's doing. It'll give us a little more information. What's our opponent doing over there? Oh, is this reanimator? Fuck, it's reanimator. Shit. Okay. Iona. I'm really gonna choose sorcery, I'm assuming. I'm curious what they choose here. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I got a bunch of mana and redundant tutors, opponent. Pick your poison. Takes a tutor. The animates Iona. I said, I'm assuming they choose sorcery. Oh, it's call. Oh, fuck. Wrong card. I'm an idiot. Yeah, we're done here. Uh, well. Yes, no, maybe. Hold on. I was thinking this was the fucking other one, the Sarah's Emissary, not Iona. Yeah, we're down here. Okay. The good news is, is we have a pretty good sideboard against this deck. I don't know why I was thinking this was Sarah's Emissary. I have not seen a main deck Iona in fucking forever. Um, Ley Lines. Take out a Nauseam. Take out the Shadow Spear. Take out the Cabal Ritz. Take out one Wishclaw Talisman, try something like that. <laughs> totally threw me off that that was Iona and not Sarah's Emissary. Just like completely threw me off. Uh, this is unkeepable. Uh, I mean, we keep this. And Fernal Suitor at the bottom. Please don't thaw seize me, opponent. But the nice part is, is even if they thought see this and they take Helm, like we have other outs with Wishclaw Talisman, so not the worst thing in the fucking world. Wear Terror would be annoying, but I guess we're gonna find out. Any fast mana, and we theoretically should just win. Did they keep Wear Terror? No, not yet, anyways. So. I'm gonna get this down first, just so that if they do wear tear this fucking ley line of the void, I have a backup I can get out. Which it looks like that's probably what they're gonna do here. I swear to god, if they have this and like a one turn combo, I'm gonna be okay, it's not a wear tear, so we're good. Either that or they just like have wear tear here, and then we just die. I don't know. There's like a bajillion ways this goes wrong. If this is just a Serenity, then we're fine. And we win. Okay, so they did have the tear. So the question is, is do they put a fatty into the graveyard or are they looking for another one? All 
All right, so they are able to get a gristle brand in the yard. For fuck's sake. Fucking hate these evoke elementals so fucking much. There goes Helm. Well, drop another one. As long as I don't have a way to fucking reanimate this shit yet. Because I have ways to shuffle the shit back in. God fucking damn it. Really? Like, I don't know what's been going on with this matchup lately. I used to be able to fucking crush this matchup, no problem. I mean, like, we can kill this Gristle Brand. We're going to take a fuckload to do it, but we can do it. However, it's also going to involve giving them our fucking Wishclaw Talisman. Unless we just have an top deck Burning Wish. No. So, what do I want to do here? Because this actually gives me the mana to be able to go Burning Wish and Wheel. But then if we don't get shit off of the wheel, I don't know what we're doing here. It does fuck up their hand, which is nice. So, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to do it. I don't know what other out we have. It does get them something, but... Keep the new one. Like, I'm not super sure what the fuck else this does here, but we're gonna fucking go for it. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I need to keep paying attention to the number of fucking artifacts I have, because I'm a fucking moron. Ugh, I got so involved in the line that I forgot the fucking artifact count. God damn it. Now, this is why I played Infect before. Math is fucking hard. <laughs> uh, I mean, we were... I don't know if we were going to win that or not. We were 100% at the mercy of the wheel that I fucked up. But we were going to Burning Wish, go grab... Uh, whatchamacallit. Um, Echo of Aeons and Spin and hope for the best. But that was me being an idiot and not paying attention to my artifact count. Womp. Oh well. Yeah. Elves does have a little bit more of a remo uh, robust backup plan than this deck does. I I don't know what it is about elves. I cannot pilot that deck to save my life. I know how it works. One of my best friends playing Magic he used to be a Legacy Elves player before he sold out a Legacy. Like, I know how the deck works, and I can just never piece it together. The only time I've done well was I borrowed a really janky version of Elves from a friend of mine a couple months ago for a Legacy FNM, and I ended up going, like, 2-1, and because there were only fucking eight of us, and I, like, eyed for third or something. So, because the only guy I lost to was the one who won. But the only time i've been able to actually pilot elves well it also helped that like my final match opponent was someone who was on uh the cloud post tron and uh elves kind of just shits all over that deck so that kind of helps i also had Viseju in both games and he was relying hardcore on crop rotating into a glacial chasm 
So even when he got it, I just blew it up and swung sideways and killed him. So. All right, this is Active Saga on turn two. A bunch of mana. I think we keep this. We are going to hold on to this Chromox for now instead of running it out just in case we get something we actually want to put under it because we might want this Burning Wish. Let's see what our opponent's doing. Okay. I mean, there, there, there goes that. So this could be Lands, this could be Delver. Um, I think we still just hold on to it because I'd like to hold on to the Thoughtseize. I'm also not cracking this bobble until I think it's safe to go for it. I don't know what our opponent's doing over there. Okay, so this screams Delver again. This is if this is in fact Del Ooh, it's a lot of mana. Um This kind of wholeheartedly shows like This is what I thought was gonna happen if this is Delver. Like Delver's gonna be Delver. Taking expressive iteration from it honestly did basically nothing to the deck. Like you got rid of their best card selection spell for something else. Okay, is this Rug Delver? Ooh, okay, it might be like four color control then. Oh, it is four color loam. Okay, four color loam control shit. Okay, um. Okay, well that's another first, I guess. The problem is, is we know this is about to die. Um, like I want to run this Chromox out and throw a Dark Ritual under it. And I also kind of just want to run this Chromox out and not throw anything under it. <laughs> I think we gotta run it out with a fucking dark rit under it, unfortunately. How much mana do we have here? We got two, three, four, six. Can't really do anything with Burning Wish yet, so there's probably not much of a point in doing anything here. Can, can you, okay, thank you opponent. Thank you for letting me take an in-game action. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Cannot catch a fucking break. Just cannot catch a fucking break. Fucking brutal. Just absolutely fucking brutal. Uh, bring in Haywire Mites. Slaughter Pact, Fatal Push. Trim Shadow Sphere, Trim A Burning Wish, Trim Cabal Ritz. Try that. That's just fucking brutal. I knew I was going to be cursed as soon as I started watching fucking Tony this morning, and he was just, like, high rolling every fucking matchup. Like, or watching him yesterday, I mean. Dude somehow sucks up all the good fucking matchups and leaves shit for the rest of us. So... This has a slaughter pack to get rid of the collector oof. Has a turn one thought season and a bunch of mana? Or we can just play mana ass, wait to try Thought Seize the turn we go off and see what the fuck our opponent does. Um the fact that we don't have a tutor is kind of what concerns me here. 
I guess we're gonna keep this. Put the chrome box at the bottom. I know this is like fucking wasteland bait right off the bat, knowing they're a fucking loam deck, but we're gonna go ahead and just play out the Urza Saga. Because if we can actually fucking activate it next turn, we're golden. And now we manifest fucking um, Wasteland into their hand. Holy shit, am I getting a construct? What the fuck is happening here? Probably means fucking meltdown if I had to take a guess. So there's a part of me that wants to just try to fucking pop off here, but I'm not going to. Because we have the mana to do it, but I mean, they're fucking four color loam control. There's no way they don't have um, like force negation right now. Or something they're leaving blue mana up for. Seeing if I can get them to spend their fucking mana first. Alright, so we're not just getting wastelanded into oblivion, which is nice. Maybe we're just gonna stay on the construct plan. Either that or they're just waiting to try to blow us out like next turn or something. Okay, I like Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is good. I've still got plenty of mana. Wait, hold on. Got one, two, five, six. Plus whatever else I got. If I get another one of those, I make a dude, I swing in with a bunch, play land, two, four, seven, ten, if I get another Lion's Eye Diamond. Alright, so this should be enough. I guess it comes down to how much counter magic does our opponent have. Grab another LED. See what they got going on over there. See if this can bait out a counter first. All right, he's got a surgical, which fine i guess i guess this gives him information whether or not he should try to counter this Leyline Binding, Minsk... Okay, so they're just dead. Yeah, they, they scooped it up. They saw my hand as the kill. So yeah, it's just four color... It's four color loam. Or four color control, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, I'm kind of tempted to try to pivot here into the Helm combo. However, that is weaker to Leyline Bindings. But it shuts off their loam shenanigans, which are very impactful to our mana base. I am tempted to bring in Feed the Swarm, though. But, I mean, I do have the Haywire Mites. Eh. I don't know. Being on the draw, let's take out a Chrome Mox, bring in a Feed the Swarm, and go for it. For that. So much mana, so much hate. 
but we had a redraw. And we're kind of relying hardcore on finding something off of this Mishra's bobble. I think we gotta get that. I mean, this is a lot of mana and a bunch of redraws. Fuck it. <laughs> we are hardcore hoping that we redraw into something good, but fuck it. This is not a wastelandable hand. <laughs> this is very much an, a non wastelandable hand. <laughs> Are they going to fetch that away? No. There's Brainstorm. What is our opponent doing? What are they doing? Okay. Guess we'll see what they're going to draw next turn. Dress down. Okay. Joke's on you, opponent. I don't have any constructs. <laughs> Wow, those were all fucking terrible. Well, I hope all of your wastelands look stupid as fuck, opponent. And a surgical, my bobble. I mean, sure, I guess. I'm going to lose two of them. I've already got one on the battlefield and one in the graveyard, so they'll see that my hand is just a bunch of fucking mana. Which is whatever, but... Let them draw their dress down. We got a Leyline Binding. Silver library, okay. I got some card selection. Even more mana. And Thoughtseize. Well, if we ever get a way to go off, we have everything we fucking need. <laughs> We're basically just looking for a tutor at this point. However, now they are getting to do some selection here, which is mildly concerning, but their deck is awful tight. They don't have a shitload of counter magic. I mean, they're going to have their four Force of Wills. It's just a matter of how many Force of Negations they have, I guess. Kind of what it's going to come down to. Ancient Tomb. Even more fucking mana. You're gonna flash an endurance or something? Okay, get brainstorm back? Yes. Alright, they're gonna grab a brainstorm, that's fine. So they're and they're gonna dress down to grab their brainstorm. Fine. So to me, this is screaming they're looking for an answer for if we go off. Like, that's what this looks like to me. Ooh, capped a card. All right, so they're going to be able to get Uro. Oh, no, they just keep Uro because it's rest down. Derp, okay. So the big thing is going to be I very much need a tutor right here, right now. Tutor. 
Feed the swarm. Just to try to buy me a turn, I'd rather lose the three life and let them be able to draw more. Like, if they get it back, it's whatever. They get another card. I don't really give a shit at this point. I need to save my life total more than that, and this is going to save me three points of damage. I'm back to the point of I need a counter, I need a tutor, and I need it now. Again, Uro back. Which, again, to be expected, it's whatever. It bought us a turn. So we know none of the four cards in their hand are a land. Tutor. I mean, we're at a point now where we theoretically can go grab fucking um, Peer into the Abyss. But we do very much need to do something here, because all we have drawn has been fucking land. Or mana, basically. Like, we got one discard spell, one removal spell, and a fuckload of mana. I'm kind of surprised he's not more aggressively keeping cards, since he can gain three life every fucking turn. Okay, there you go. Okay. Well, that plan's out of the window. So basically, I gotta see if I can go off from nine. <laughs> All right, it's do or die. It's tutor this turn or we're dead. It's a tutor. Hydroblast, Minor Misstep, Dress Down, Leyline Binding, Endurance. So Minor Misstep is the only thing that fucks us over here. Hydroblast is completely irrelevant. I don't know why they even have it in their deck. I mean, it hits Burning Wish, I guess, but it seems super niche. Dress Down draws them a card. I mean, I guess the other option is... Because Dress Down could draw them into a hard counter, which kills us. Minor Misstep just shuts down Dark Ritual. And we take Dress Down. It's the hard counter option here. This is going to hurt like a motherfucker. See if we can get the Minor Misstep out of their hand right now. Because we can do this without the minor messed up. Really? They chose not to counter it. Oh, value of one or less. Okay. I mean, I still have the mana to do it. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, no, that's fine. So, I can just... And now we got a high roll like a motherfucker off of this ad nauseum. Actually, yeah, no, no, we don't have to. Yeah, all we, actually, all we need to do is go grab tendrils and they're dead. We cast enough fucking spells. I didn't realize how high our storm count was. So we actually got this. Because we know that's gone. This should be their hand. So they're just dead. Totally forgot our storm count was so fucking high. So we just go grab the tendies and they're dead. I 
I always forget this is one or less. For some reason, I think it's like smell, uh, Spell Snare, where it's like exactly the number, but I always forget the or less part of Mental or Minor Misstep. Is our opponent salty roping? I mean, like, we 2 3 this, which sucks. But I mean, I guess I'll take a salty rope in game three of the last match. Like, it's a moral victory, right? <laughs> that, that's got to count for something. Opponent just said lol. And they skipped it up. All right. Um, do do do. All right. I am gonna go grab a drink while we go find the next opponent. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Considering how much money I've fucking spent on beer over the past, like, two weeks, I do not have, like, shit I can just drink for fun in the house. Everything we've been buying has been fucking fancy-ass beer that we, like, share for special occasions and shit. Well, that was a funny way to end that league. <laughs> Alright, let's high roll some fucking matches this time. Slowly crawling our way back up the record ladder here. Just sucks. You still, like, be able to easily smash, like, four ones, three twos. And then just like that one week where we just got crushed six leagues in a row sucked. All right, Spaceman Spliff. Uh, so we don't have black mana, but we have a redraw. We have an active Urza Saga on turn two. So Urza Saga, if it lives, can find us black mana. We also have redundant tutor, so we don't just die. Do a discard spell? We are on the play though. In the blind against our opponent is the problem. I think we're gonna keep this. Maybe it's incorrect and we should mulligan to try to like just pop off turn one and see what happens, but. I don't hate the Urza Saga backup plan for this one. This is a pretty good hand. We just need black mana, which, I mean, maybe it's going to be a while until we find it, but... We do get a redraw, which is nice. Alright. 
the fuck is our opponent doing? We're gonna find out. What you got over there, Ope? Something red. So I'm assuming this means painter. Maybe? Could also be a control deck that just plays like back to basics or something. I mean, that's fucking red mana, so. Or, wow. Pfft, red mana. Black mana. Um. I think we're gonna stick with the construct plan just for right now. Make him think maybe we're just like really fucking slow 8 cast or something. This could also be like a back to basics deck, which would make me cry. That's a very pretty mountain. Pretty mountain. I like that. All right. Think about a part of our life total. The fact that we have multiple discard spells, I think I'm gonna go get a Chrome Mox. Okay, Lightning Bolt. That makes me think it's a control deck. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna go grab a Chrome Mox. The fact that I have so many fucking discard spells here. I think Thought Seize is our best bet here. Alright, how hardcore control are you, opponent? Oh, y'all, hard hardcore. Got it. Is this like fucking... So they're not even close to being able to cast this Jace yet. Um, do we want the... Does accumulate knowledge do again? Draw a card, then draw a card equal to the number of cards named accumulate knowledge in your graveyard. Okay, so we're gonna grab the brainstorm then. Because we don't want to like turbocharge their next accumulated knowledge. And they have no way to cast anything in their hand at the moment. Not that we give a fuck. It does suck that we're gonna hit ourselves so much. Ooh, they main phase that too. That hurts. Dark Ritual. I don't have enough mana to do everything yet. Does that suck we're like still hitting ourselves? We're gonna see if we can make them like focus on trying to fucking deal with this construct, because we could just beat them down with the construct. Maybe don't even need to add nauseum. Because they still need to even draw a red card to be able to pitch to this Fury if they want to get rid of the Construct we have on board. And then that's going to essentially 2 for 0 them. Because these subtleties do literal nothing against us. Going to cast another Accumulated Knowledge. Alright, Fury pitching Blood Moon. Okay. So they're prized to, yeah, prioritizing getting rid of the Fury, or the Construct token, which is fine. Question becomes is, do we have enough mana to pop off here? Because we know three of their five cards. Oh, we definitely have enough to pop now. Oh, you ain't got shit, homie. Uh, we take the Blood Moon. So the question becomes... If we use this to cast Wishclaw Talisman... That might be a little too greedy. Because then I've only got five mana. So yeah, that's that's a little too greedy. We got a bunch of the high mana stuff out of our deck already. Cuz 
Because this only hits creatures and planeswalkers, so it doesn't do shit against what we're doing here. It does suck we're doing this from 12, but we've got to just, like, low roll hard. Which is exactly what we're fucking doing. That should do it, right? Because this will be... Six, seven, eight. Yeah. This gets us there. Did our opponent scoop it up? Yes. Okay. So this is interesting. Not super sure what this is. It just seems like hard red, blue, white. I'm assuming they have, or, wow, blue, red, back to basics shit. Uh, maybe this is miracles. Should I bring in the ley lines? I don't know. Um, really don't know what the fuck our opponent's doing over there is the problem. Um, I mean, I guess I'll bring in defense grids and treat it as if it's a Delver-esque style deck and just go from there. This may be incorrect, but we will find out. I and mean, that's a defense grade, but not a whole lot else. We got log on that. Um, we'll keep this. We'll put the B wish to the bottom for now. We do have to be cognizant of Blood Moon. That very well could be a problem. Pondering their life choices. That is acceptable, opponent. You do you. Okay, that is a black source. So, in theory, they shouldn't be able to get a Blood Moon down next turn. Alright, they're going to ponder. What did they even do the last time? They chose to shuffle last time, so that's good for us. Dragon Rage Shanala. Okay. That's mostly acceptable. Two card types in the graveyard. Okay. So maybe this is just a really weird Delver list. So I am going to run out of Lotus Petal just so our thing is bigger than this when we make it. If they can't turn on Del or turn on Channeler. without completely wiping out our board to a meltdown. Is this the mythical blood moon? Yes, we'll let them do their thing. All right. Fortunately, that means our second Urza Saga is now fucking useless. All right, not even going to attack. That, that's fine. I'm a little scared of a Murktide, I'm not going to lie. This is making me think they have counter magic.
This is screaming counter magic that this isn't just resolving. Evolves. All right, just in case they got a fucking Merc Tide over there, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Counterbalance, Force of Will, Dragon Rage, Channeler, Bolt. So, let's get our Construct out of Bolt range then. We'll take Counterbalance so they don't get free counters. So they did have counter magic. So we're gonna go ahead. Unfortunately, this does turn on Dragon Ray Channel our next turn. If they want a bolt. But I don't want them to have free counter magic, so. If I can find a tutor, I'm in good shape. I just need to find a tutor. All right, so they're gonna hold back. So they like whatever they saw with the second surveil that they kept on top. This is not the shuffle, drew what they found. So they can't... I guess we're gonna see what they do here. Okay, they just let that go. If they want to block, it kills one of them, which actually helps. Because they don't have the mana to be able to lightning bolt. So they have to like block brainstorm? Okay. Accumulated knowledge. Okay. Still deciding not to attack. City of Traitors. Oh, we just draw ad nauseum. Interesting. This is enough mana to duress and ad nauseum. So we know they have a force of will. Ooh, they have double force of will. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I guess we'll take the accumulated knowledge. It does turn on their Dragon Rage channelers. And now we're back in a position where we need a discard spell. That's unfortunate that they had double force.
We're also about to go to seven. So I have to attack. They're representing nine damage. However, we are representing a two turn kill here. Into another ad nauseum or another dark ritual. See if we can get this force of will out of hand. They're gonna counter the ritual. Because if they counter the ritual. Then we can just ritual ad nauseous. Force of will pitching force of will. Okay. So now we have to make sure we do not go below seven or below three. So we are super, super low on life here. Do not low roll, for fuck's sake. Oh, are you shitting me? Oh, that is some bullshit. When the fuck did they get the force of negation? Was that their fucking draw? Okay, so they do rely on their graveyard a little bit more. So we are actually gonna bring in this shit. Um. We'll bring in Feed the Swarm. Drop Burning Wish. Drop our last Chrome Mox. Cut the Cabal Ritz. Drop one Awkward Tutor. Oh, that was bullshit. I'll keep this. I like this. All right. I like where we're at now. We just need a discard spell to make sure it's good to go. Eh, I should have used the Mishra's Bobble, but whatever. Okay, there's a discard spell. There is the discard spell we were looking for. What are they getting? Counter balance. All right. I guess we're going to see what the fuck is on the top of their deck here. But they have a zero drop that actually complicates things. Like a zero or a two actually does make this much more complicated. A fucking two drop. Holy shit. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So 
that two drop complicates things. Double force complicates things. Jesus fucking Christ. Double force and a two drop on top. Yep, Ledger Shredder. To be expected. I don't hate the rass. See if we can get that other fucking force out of hand. <sighs> and they're drawing a force negation too. God fucking damn it. Okay. Um. I mean, just keep working our way through their counter magic. So, like, we know there's another force negation coming. All right, so they drew their force negation. I mean, the nice part is, is they're not really doing much of anything, and those two counterbalances in hand don't do shit. They would die ritual. We'll see what's on top. Accumulated knowledge. Okay. The problem is, is that accumulated knowledge stops our fucking. Why do they have so many fucking two drops? God damn. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. That it's a force negation, so that gets force out of hand. We are slowly working our way through all of their goddamn force of wills. Please stop having fucking two drops on top of your deck. Like it might just be worth slamming this fucking Wish Claw Talisman and hoping for the best. Okay, just playing another counterbalance. Having them in multiples doesn't really change anything here. Okay, City of Traitors. Swear to God, if you have a fucking other one on top. Oh my God, what the shit? Okay, well that changed what was on top now. Okay, so there's a zero drop on top now. Okay. This means we win. Holy shit balls. God fucking damn it. That was stupid. <laughs> I suppose they do get to connive here, but whatever. I swear to God, if it's a fucking two drop. Okay, it's a Fury. We're good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. That was just dumb as shit. That was so fucking dumb. Where is my helm? Oh, goddamn. 
<laughs> what the fuck was that match? Had so many fucking two drops. Oh, goddamn. Oh, jeez, that was... I mean, it was an interesting take on, like, a Delver deck. Just, like, hardcore counterbalance, like... Not playing so much of a tempo game as playing a hardcore control game. Renato Amato. Name looks familiar. Does anyone know who this is? I don't hate this. We'll keep this. Players of Saga. Hopefully we don't get discarded. Or hopefully we're not up against like some crazy turn one combo deck like oops. I've been seeing a shitload of oops lately. Okay, so it's like, this is probably the new initiative deck is what I'm thinking here. So we should be good in terms of counter magic. Question is, can I get to five mana quick enough? I'll have four mana next turn. So any fast mana should get us there? Okay. So that should do it. I'm assuming this is the new initiative build. All right, tap this shit in the correct goddamn order. I'm going from 20. I have to be incredibly fucking unlucky to not get there from here. Uh, okay, I definitely have it from here. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oops. That actually doesn't work. Oopsies. I'm an idiot. It's fine. I just needed cards in my graveyard. That, that, that's all it was. So I've got... I mean, I've still got plenty of mana to do this, because this is going to end up being fucking seven or five mana on its own. Black, black, go up to five, tap this, burning wish, 
Totally forgot about this chalice. Grab the tendies. Tendies you for 13. All right, so I'm assuming this is the new version of initiative. So what do we want to do here? For a new version of initiative, let's bring in this shit. Being on the draw, let's drop some chrome boxes. We're not going to be able to outclass them in battle. It's just not going to fucking happen. So we can take out the Shadow Spear. Maybe like Trim Wonder S. Most of what we want to discard from them is going to be creatures, anyways. This would be great if I had mana, <laughs> but I don't. I'm also assuming they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna mulligan for a chalice of some sort, I'm sure. So I'm actually gonna keep this. A little burning wish to the bottom. The question is, what chalice do... Okay, they're going for chalice on zero. Okay. Do they also have a chalice on one? If they have both, we're probably going to scoop. Okay, no chalice on one. That's good. Chalice on zero is a little annoying. Um, well, we're gonna take Magus of the Moon. That's not even a question. So yes, this is... I didn't take out my Cabal Ritz, right? No. So I'm just chucking these into the yard so that we have extra mana, or extra shit in the yard for, whatchamacallit, um, Cabal Ritual. So another a soul land does it. Uh okay, I was about to say, did he really just Okay? Oh fuck, that hits our artifact lands? I did not even know that worked that way. Okay, well apparently we're back to square one now. All right, well, we're back to square one. Well, that sucks. All right, so he's got his Dungeoneer down. So this is exactly what I was envisioning when I said, like, initiative is just going to pick up red. And it's going to turn into this weird, like, death and taxes hybrid shit. Like, this is literally exactly what I had in mind when I said all of that. So basically, I need to run a runner land or land into another dark ritual. Nope. I mean, the nice part is, is like, if we have the turn one combo next game, we just fucking pop off. Which is probably going to go to next game. But we'll see if we can see anything else in their fucking deck first.
Okay, yeah, we're 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 done here. All right, but yeah, th this is these two leagues have pretty much shown exactly what I assumed would happen when, um, what you call it, fucking, what's it called? Yeah, uh, when the bannings happen, like this is literally exactly what I figured was gonna happen. Um, we will bring the rest back in. We're actually just gonna take fatal push out. I don't think we need it. Um, I'm actually kind of wondering if we actually need any of the removal on the play. Just bring in our fast man again. Basically, like almost D board. Just leave the haywire mites in. To hopefully, be able to deal with the chalice or something. All right, come on. Just give me the turn one combo. This is it. As long as they don't magically have fucking Mind Break Trap. Don't just magically have Mind Break Trap, I swear to God. Okay. Now we're back in a position where we have to low roll like a motherfucker to not win. All right, that should do it. Are they hoping we fuck this up somehow? <laughs> I'm just gonna dress them to fucking hand check them and make sure there's not something I'm they're somehow like sitting on here. No, nothing? Okay, yeah, they're dead. They hella dead. And just because it's initiative, we're gonna fucking rub it in and we're just gonna do all the things. We are going to just sit here and run all of our spells out because it's fucking initiative and fuck initiative. So we got the tendies right there. Just because we can. <laughs> I know this is a dick move. I don't fucking care. <laughs> just to prove a message. And that message is fuck you initiative. That's right, get fucked. Boom. Ugh. Well, on the plus side, we took down both of the boogeymen of the format. So I feel vindicated in that sense. Raptor 56. Um, I actually like this. We'll keep it. It's random main deck. Okay, it's another Urza Saga deck. So the question is, is this Acast or are we up against the mirror? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter that fucking much. They don't have counter magic, which is good.
All right, we got two Wishclaw Talismans down. The question is, what version are they on? All right, it's just making a dude, which is good. Go ahead, direct me, opponent. All right, so they're on the same thing we are. We just have the combo hand, they have the construct hand. All right, so let's see, we grab this. We just take a schwack for three. I'm trying to think here. We can go ahead, go grab a ritual. Wait, the ritual go up to three. Use one to go grab, no, so that's not gonna work. I can't go grab two LEDs or we're dead. I think we run this out. Curious way he's got main deck that he's gonna schwack us with here. There's nothing we can do anyways. We do need a little bit more mana. Apparently we shouldn't have run out both Witch Claw Talismans, because we could have won there if we had the two Lotus Petals. Enter's fair. What the fuck? Ah, uh, fucker. All right, well, we're going to see if they low roll. All right, they got it. I don't know what it is about these storm mirrors. I always end up being a turn too fucking slow. Every goddamn time. All right. Being against, I really don't even know how the fuck we're supposed to sideboard for this, to be honest. Like, I really don't think there's a point in sideboarding. Like, we have nothing relevant against them. They have nothing relevant against us. It's kind of just the mulligan for a fucking nut draw sort of thing. We keep this. Double thought sees isn't terrible. I think we keep this. I'll keep this. Put a pedal to the bottom. So many rituals. Well, we're taking the tutor. That's the other thing, is, like, for whatever reason, whenever we play these fucking storm mirrors, the opponent, like, always has the fucking nuts for some weird-ass reason. I feel like that was incorrect timing on this bobble for our opponent. They know we have discard. Maybe we just take the bobble. Not really anything else we're going to do with that. Like, if we can hit an ad nauseum, we just go off. Ad nauseum? No. My constructs are also bigger than yours at the moment. They also just have so much mana, it doesn't matter. If they find the tutor, they just pop off. Did they find it? <sighs> it's fucking storm mirrors. 
as much as I love this deck, it's shit like, yeah, we were one fucking turn too slow every goddamn time. Every goddamn time, we're one turn too slow. If anyone, like, can... If anyone knows these fucking mirrors well, please explain to me, like, am I wrong in just thinking they're basically mulligan to the fucking nut draw? Because neither one of our decks has anything that interacts with the other one. Like, it's mulligan to the nuts, or just fucking hope to win. Uh, we cannot keep this. And this person was last on Painter? I mean, I guess we keep this. What do we put to the bottom is the question. Do we put the redraw to the bottom? I feel like we put the pedal to the bottom. They shouldn't be able to go off turn one. So we can save the Thoughtseize for next turn. All right, yeah, they're on Painter. Have their owners of Saga. Grindstone. Okay. Uh, well, this is a win next turn. Or I should say it should be a win next. Oh, they just have a bunch of lands and a fable. Okay. So they can't possibly win next turn. All right, plays an ancient team. So they're going to go in the construct plan, which is fine. We don't give a fuck about that. This should just be the win this turn. Making a dude, okay. That's that's cool. Totally, totally fine. Make yo dude. Make sure I don't grab the wrong thing. Grab a lion's eye diamond. Grab a Play Lion's Eye Diamond. Play City of Traders. Go grab an Adnaz. All right, let's go. There's the Tendies, so now we just need mana. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So this would be four, five, six, seven. You go a little bit further. I've already got the tendrils, so I can go even further. LED. All right, that does it. Seven. I'll just scoop it up. Hey. Okay. Painter. Painter, 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 painter. Removal. Artifact hate. I do not think we're going to be winning through combat. They typically bring in Grey Bear Hate to take out the Cabal Ritz. From one Burning Wish. Or something like that. And just kind of hope that we can hit the turn one nut.
Fucking do it. Let's go. A lot of discard. Discard only does so much. I think we got a mulligan up. This is all sorts of hate, and I love it. We're keeping this in a fucking heartbeat. Put the redundant haywire right to the bottom. Funny part is, is we can blow up their land, which is hilarious to me. We do need to watch out because this can target our shit too, which is a little problematic, but not the end of the world. Ooh, they got a painter servant. All right, so there's a good chance that that means they have an REB in hand. Okay, I don't hate Fatal Push. Okay. Okay, choosing not to activate it yet. Okay, okay. Now, now we're playing this little game of chicken we got going on here. Uh, wait, we just... Never mind, we're dead. God damn it. I keep forgetting this doesn't fucking cost anything. Fucker. God damn it. I keep forgetting this ability doesn't actually cost any mana. Um, because they can do shit like that, I actually think we do want to bring Leyline in. And we'll just, like, helm them. Uh, totally fucking forgot about that interaction. Or, we might just want to keep it in and try to go for the fucking nut right off the bat. I don't know. Like, I want to bring in Graveyard Hate because they can do shit like that, but... I know what, fuck it. We're just going to try to go for the nut. Come on, turn one nutters. Is... This isn't quite the turn. Would be one, two, three, five. And a redraw. 
Now we're gonna keep this. It's a little awkward. We're just we're gonna run one of these out so that I can thought seize them. Grab welder. The welder allows for these shenanigans. REB at this point is a whatever. So lightning bolts, whatever. They need a painter before our EB becomes relevant. So let's grab the welder. Guess we'll see what they're drawing here. Fiery confluence, that's scary. Fox Opal, Lion's Eye Diamond. This does it, right? As I run this out, we got one, two, four, seven, yeah. Just make sure I don't fuck this up. Black. Keep the new one, black. All right, add Nas from 18, let's fucking go. This should be plenty, right? We got two dark roots and a bunch of mana. Yeah, we're good. We got it. Well, at the very least, we're gonna have an inverse of last fucking game or last league. Wish Claw Talisman. Right, we don't need anything else here. No. Uh. All right. It's not a turn one, but I'll take a turn two tendies. I'll take a nice little turn two tendies. All right, fucking sweet. All right, birds and bees. Ooh, kinky. Um, they're four zero. Can can we be the dream eater? Oh my god, can we be the dream eater, please? Oh fuck. 
This is a turn one if they don't have counter magic. The question is, is do we think they have counter magic? Because this is amazing if they're on, like, fucking reanimator. Ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, we just gotta go for it, right? Like, there's no reason not to. Like, it's game one, turn one. See if any of this eats a fucking counter spell. They're not F6 through the turn, which is good. Or bad. All right, show me the force. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, so we got plenty of mana. Got a duress to hand check them. I need a tutor. All right, is this enough? This should be enough, but since I've got life, let's go a little further. Okay, that's definitely enough then. Okay. I want to see what they got going on over there before we go for lethal. This might get the tactical scoop so that we can't see anything. All right. I think my wife just got home. I think I hear voices downstairs. I do hear voices downstairs. Okay. Um, well, since we're fucking blind against our opponent, we're not gonna bother sideboarding shit. So this will have to be the last match now that she's home because I need to go grocery shopping like a motherfucker. At the very least, we'll have gone five and five today, but getting off on turn one either we lucked out and they didn't have counter magic or they just straight up don't have counter magic which if they don't have counter magic being on the draw is a little sketchier but Opponent is taking a while to decide how they want to sideboard, but I said they might be done. All right. Um. I mean, we gotta keep this, right? <sighs> Not knowing what our opponent's on, and the fact that it worked out last time, I think I have to keep this and just fucking go for it. Okay, so it does look like they're on something that probably has counter magic. It, maybe it's Doomsday. Okay. I'm assuming that means our Wish Claw Talisman's gone. Yep. Wish Claw goes bye bye. Mine's I ain't bad. Um, since we see that they have discard, we are gonna run out a bunch of shit from our hand. And as much as I don't want to chuck a Dark Ritual under the Chrome Mox, we are going to. So this very much looks like Doomsday. So we basically just lucked out that they didn't have counter magic last game. Run another C. But what do we have against Doomsday? Uh, where's my sideboard at? Um, I mean, I guess the fence grade probably. Other than that, we don't really have much.
So much mana. We are going to leave one unknown in hand to try to bait a discard spell out of them. It screams that they're going for it, I think. Or do they have the mana to just go off now? Oh, oh okay, shoulder it. Shul shoulder it's fine. We don't care that much about shoulder it. That just shuts off here into the abyss, which I don't think we were going to go for anyways. It's an infernal tutor. Hard opponent. Do you have counter magic? All right, they had a force. We still have enough mana, well, I guess we're one mana short of being able to do it next turn if we were to just draw ad nauseum. Well, we do need to crack that LED, but whatever. That is a cute little synergy, like paying two, drawing two, or gaining two. Cute little way to cycle through your deck for free. So I could feed the swarm and kill this. Or I should say I could attempt to feed the swarm and kill this. But it's going to severely hamper our mana. Is it worth it? It might be worth it. Okay, another force of will. Jeez. Opponent came with the hate. Don't really know. Again, I don't really know what the fuck to even bring in. Like that that's the hard part, is even if we can sideboard in something, I'm not super sure what. We're on a two, like it's literally draw this turn or we're dead. Like find a way out, and I don't think there is one. Yeah, there's not. Okay. Oh. Against Really bored in against ad nauseum. I guess maybe the defense grids to shut down what just happened. We're not gonna win through combat damage. It's just not gonna happen. It can fuck up their doomsday, but maybe trim one chromox since we brought in some colorless cards. Press them along those lines. We're gonna keep this. We have the discard for when we want to go off, and we've got multiple things to do. Multiple. I mean, there always is a weird world where they can just pop off on turn one, which is annoying as shit, but. Oh shit, I meant to fucking. Whatever. That's on me, I fucked that up. Lotus Petal is what we're gonna draw next turn. They really have the turn one fucking... All right, so... Apparently I should have fucking thought these. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. 
Well, hopefully our three draws get us something crazy and we can pop off in response, but well, what's gonna happen? Swear to God, if they have counter magic on top of all this bullshit too. Basically, I need like double LED plus some, like if two of these three draws are LEDs, then I guess I probably just win with Thoughtseize backup. Oh no, it's taking their sweet time trying to figure out how they want to do this. Is still there? Psh. I was really thinking about what they want to do here. All right, they're finally figuring out what they want to do. Cool. All right. So we're going to see what's on top. All right, so they're going for it next turn. Basically, we need LED, LED. Two of these three draws need to be LEDs. I'm an LED. Dark Ritual. It's an Ancient Tomb. I don't think this does it. I don't think that's enough mana. Because I have to cast this. Do I have the mana to do a mini one? I still think the answer is no, because it's going to take two to play it. Then I've got, I've only got four mana. If this was an LED, I think we would have had it. Is there anything in our sideboard we can get? Two mana, no. I mean, we hope by some weird miracle they're relying on something in their fucking hand. Is all that we can do. Okay, that they had, they had counter magic backup anyways. We we were not winning this. Our opponent had literally fucking everything. So. That sucks, but eh, it is what it is. We ended up going 50-50, 5-5. Five five. So, I mean, at least we got on the board this time. So, we are slowly crawling our way back up the win, win rate ladder. But uh, that's all I got for today. I got to bounce out, go do some grocery shopping. I'm going to send you all off to Ziggy MTG. Looks like he's playing some kind of Bant Stoneblade pile bullshit. It looks like he's trying that new, like, Adventurer's Torch thing that... <laughs> amazing that's how fucked up the initiative mechanic is that people are willing to put this unplayable equipment in just because it gets you initiative but thanks for stopping by guys i will catch you all next time uh i will be back on monday and until then it's all deep.